That's right people, today I'll be showing you how to set up xCloud on your Nvidia Shield, which turns your Nvidia Shield into an Xbox One S. That being said, let's hop into the video. A little bit about the Nvidia Shield. The Nvidia Shield is an Android TV box made by Nvidia. It supports 4K with HDR at 60 frames per second. The Nvidia Shield is one of my favorite tech devices. I've had this Nvidia Shield for over two years and it's still running strong. As you guys know, I review a lot of tech stuff on my channel, not to mention stuff that I have not reviewed just yet. The Nvidia Shield definitely holds its own in my tech library. So let's walk through the process of getting the Nvidia Shield set up on xCloud. There's a few things that you're going to need. First, you'll need to head over to Microsoft's page for the Xbox Game Pass. On this page, you'll see the promotion where you can join Xbox Game Pass for $1 for the first month. Here, there's a list of games that are available for playing. Now, it's worth mentioning that this service is offered on the PC and on Xbox um, consoles. You can also stream via xCloud, which is what we'll be focusing on today. Okay, you'll click the join button and you'll get um, your process set up. I'm not going to go through that process for you guys. I'll leave a link in the description for the xCloud um, subscription plan. After that, we'll head over to the um, APK file that we'll need. So we'll just do a general search using Bing or Google. We're going to search for um, Xbox Game Pass APK. Um, a trusted source that I have that I'm actually using now is APK Pure. And you head over to that site and you download the the file to your computer. As the file downloads, you'll want to have a USB flash drive. Um, any size over one gig should be fine because the file is fairly small, just at 45 megabytes. So I have my file downloaded. I'm just going to right click on that file and I'm going to click copy. and I'm going to paste onto the, the root of my USB file, USB um, device. So I'm just going to copy that file over to the USB device. Now we have that file. Now we're ready to head over to the Nvidia Shield and have this installed. There's going to be a few apps we'll need on the Nvidia Shield to access this file. So you're on your Nvidia Shield and at the very top, you should see a notification. That notification is the USB flash drive that you've just plugged in. Clicking on that, you'll see that you have, um, I have two USB flash drives installed. I'm using the 16 gig to do this um, operation. So we're actually gonna head over to the app store and we're gonna get an app called Side Load Launcher. So you're gonna install this app called Side Load Launcher. You'll then be able to access all the unofficial apps of your Nvidia Shield through this app. We're going to go down to the app that says files and we're going to open that app up. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. You're going to want to get a, you're going to want to use your smartphone to use the mouse to navigate from the downloads folder to that USB drive. So, if you do have a wireless mount, you can then plug that in in the other USB port and use the mouse cursor to navigate the screen. However, you can use your smartphone using the Nvidia Shield app to then navigate to the downloads folder. I'll show you how to do that right now.
Now I do already have this app installed, so I will not be reinstalling this app. However, you will just click the install button and carry on with the process. So after we've got that app installed, we'll head back over to Sideload Launcher again. And here you'll see the Xbox Game Pass application. And there you have it. At first launch, you'll be prompted to sign in with your account that you created on the computer for your Microsoft Game Pass subscription service. You'll be prompted to sign in. Here you can see you can view the games that are on console, the ones that are available on PC, and the ones that are available on cloud. The cloud games are the one we'll be focusing on. As you can see, I have quite a bit of games that I've jumped into. I like to give you guys an example of how well this performs. So let's jump into something like Forza Horizon 4.
be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. As you see, there are tons of games available for streaming on the Nvidia Shield. It's worth mentioning that the game streams at 720p, 60 frames per second. Any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and give the video a thumbs up if this was helpful in any way. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.